Cusco, Peru. Today, the Church of Santo Domingo sits on the foundation stones of what was once considered the most important temple to the ancient Inca, the Coricancha Temple of the Sun, the original structure, which is believed to predate the Incan civilization, was rebuilt in the 15th century by the ruler Pachacuti after he came into possession of a mirrored disc. Pachacuti is the first Inca who really created the Inca as an empire, not just as one of many cultures in the Andes. A legend has it that Pachacuti traveled to a spring to the east of Cusco. A disc was said to have fallen from the sky into the spring. And when Pachacuti lifted out of the water, he saw an image of Viracocha the creator. The apparition told Pachacuti, you will win many wars. Within 10 years, Pachacuti expanded the empire in a way that's never been seen in history before. The myths say that he held that mirror with him for the rest of his life, and any answers he wanted to look into the future or what to do, he consulted the mirror, and the mirror told him what to do. The disc that Pachacuti found truly was his key and his driving force to become one of the most powerful emperors in history. Pachacuti began the expansion of the Incan territory from the Valley of Cusco to encompass 2,500 miles of the west coast of South America, from Quito, Ecuador, to Talca, Chile. Worldwide, it doesn't matter what ancient culture there is some type of a worship of a disc that came from the sky. It is possible that this disc had some type of an extraterrestrial connection and that this disc was a technological device. You have to wonder, was it some kind of extraterrestrial object that Pachacuti was now carrying around with him that allowed him to communicate with these extraterrestrial gods that were guiding him? We've already had smartphones that have come out in our own history where it's a lot more than what it appears. You're looking at all of your apps. You can watch movies on it. You can send email. You can have telephone calls. You can have video calls, all kinds of things. So that disk may have been something with a great deal of computer circuitry in it, something that had far more capability than we could ever normally imagine. If the accounts of Pachacuti's magic disk are true, could it have contained some sort of alien technology? According to ancient astronaut theorists, further evidence that alien disks exist on Earth can be found in the Ayumarca mountain region of Peru. At the site known by the locals as the Puerta de Ayumarca, or Gate of the Gods, is an enormous 23-foot-high door-like structure carved into the solid rock face. Contained within it is a smaller T-shaped opening just under six feet in height with a circular depression inside. Local legends tells us that the gods would use this as a gateway or a stargate through which they would come and go. They opened the doorway through this disc that was placed in a little alcove or etching place inside the doorway. One of the stories, too, is that a high priest named Amaru Meru utilized a disc to open this door. And so this was his computer or key that opened this dimensional doorway. Once again, the disk is the key. Here we have an apparent extraterrestrial technology in the form of a disk. And you would then pop the disk into where the door is, and that would open the portal. This circular area has been found where the door is located. And so it does suggest that there may be some veracity to these ancient legends.